question is that What's going on? You're watching Days of Pain and Victory. I'm Josh and today we're going to make this fab table a little bit easier to move. Let me show you how. Alright, so I went to North 40 and which is our kind of tractor supply store in the Northwest. Um, anyway, picked up these heavy duty casters. They're the heaviest duty casters I could find. Um, tried a few different stores that still had uh, the locking mechanism because I want to be able to lock this table in position. That way when I'm actually using it, it doesn't roll around on me. I love how sturdy this thing is, so hopefully this doesn't compromise the sturdiness. So what we got to do, we got to cut some plates for the bottom of these legs and uh, found just the right piece. I love it when I can find metal that's pretty much perfect. Look at that. So it's like exactly the right width for these. So I just got to make a few cuts for the width this way. Um, so that is what we'll do first. All right, so I'm going to make these about a quarter inch wider than the pad on these casters. So these are two and a half. So the two and three quarters. And I've got to say, these uh, cutoff wheels I tried out, they're the Diablo brand. It's pretty rad. They're a little bit more money, but man, it just cuts through this stuff like butter. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, inevitably when you're cutting stuff by hand with a grinder, there's gonna be some variation in your parts. So I'm gonna just um, stack them together, flush them up on one side, and then um, clamp them together and then try to grind them so they're about all even. Another thing when you start getting into fabbing, you can you'll realize that. It can be super handy to have two um, angle grinders. So I would buy at least one good one. So I've got this Makita here um, that is just works great. And then I've got an old Matabo. And Matabo is a good grinder as well. But your second grinder doesn't have to be awesome. But it can make things a little more efficient in the fact that you don't have to switch back and forth between your cutoff wheels and your grinding discs. In fact, uh, Tyler at Total Mayhem Racing building that, that trophy truck, one of his grinders is just a Harbor Freight variety and that's totally fine. I mean, he's got a nice one and then he's got another one that way you can just, without having to switch the wheel, you know, quickly go to your uh, grinding disc. Get your other tools set up first, you know, get a welder, get some clamps, those types of things. But once you uh, have the basics, get a second grinder. Now that that's done, next thing I'm gonna do is throw a little tack weld on each side. Throw a little tack weld on each side of the stack. But then I can lay out my screw holes, or bolt holes, um, and with them tacked together, I can drill all at once using the drill press, make it a lot easier.
one area my tool supply is really lacking is good drill bits. So yeah, that drill bit couldn't even go through three holes for this test. So I had to go, uh, you know, like one size bigger um, on that last hole, but got it. So now I'm gonna bust these welds off um, and get them welded to the bottom of the fab table. got all the feet in place. Um, I shimmed two corners because this thing was a little rocky and uh, not all the legs were perfectly the same length. So I'm going to do a little fillet weld on a couple of legs to kind of hopefully even it out. Um, also probably because of the size of the caster pad where the bolts laid out and the size of these legs I might have to kind of grind on one of the bolts and just weld the bolts in solid we'll see that if um, the head fits down in there or not it's gonna be close so I'm gonna get these welded up and uh, then we'll see how see if we can bolt those casters on <laughs> should make this thing a lot nicer to move around. I think they look pretty good too. Um, hopefully it'll be still be sturdy enough with the, with the casters on there. Um, I'm gonna lock them up real quick and see how it is. We'll see. <sighs> they did have um, some casters that didn't swivel. That also didn't have a lock. Um, that were the same height. So I might try those. The only thing is, um, see these were rated at 220 pounds each. The other ones without the swivel were only rated at 150 pounds each, which I thought was interesting. It's a 330 pound top plus the main frame. I don't know how much that weighs. Um, maybe 100 pounds, I mean it's all quarter inch angle iron. Um, so it's a heavy table, probably you know around 400 pounds or so. Uh, right now I've got 220 pound casters on each corner. So it should hold you know, 880 pounds at max load. Um, Maybe those 150 pound casters will be all right. We'll see. We'll see how much of a pain it is to have it wobble a little bit, but I'm excited I can at least move it around. So, got a couple of announcements. Um, number one, my buddy Alex, you've seen him on the channel. He is gonna start filming some content for us. I'm really excited for that. You know, him and I started Days of Pain and Victory way back when we were teenagers. It was just a fun, um, filming adventure of us doing our off-road stuff and uh, you know stupid stunts and whatnot and it was just a blast so um, I'm excited that he's gonna start um, making some content I'll still do the editing but he's gonna get me the footage so stay tuned for that I'm super excited for that it's gonna be awesome um, the other cool thing about that is since I'm doing the editing I can put in all the bloopers that I want 
You're welcome, buddy. We're gonna go to the Hangover Run, which is a four-wheel and event in Spokane area. It's at the Seven Mile ORV Park at Riverside State Park um, on the 1st of January. So if you wanna come check out the Big Chief, Alex and I will be out there. Uh, we'll have our kiddos with us and just going out having a good time wheeling. Hopefully there'll be some snow. Um, so if, you want, if you're in the Spokane area, you wanna check out the Big Chief and uh, maybe get some stickers, come check out the Hangover Run. On another note, uh, pretty good chance we did not get that 30 acres, which is a huge bummer, but I know that, you know, Big guy upstairs got something good for us in store. We just gotta be patient and wait for it. So I'm excited for that. I'm bummed that we probably didn't get that 30 acres, but um, something's gonna come our way and it's gonna be great. All right, and lastly, if you want to support this channel, uh, we've got some merch on Teespring. Link is in the description below. You can also shop on Amazon via any of the links in the description below. We've got some of the tools that we really like to use, including the Well Pro Weller that I used to build this fab table. If you haven't seen that fab table video, go check it out. I will link it right up here. So yeah, shop on Amazon via the links below. It's almost Christmas time. Tools are always a good Christmas gift. Another way you can support the channel is just uh, by becoming a Patreon. So I got the Patreon link in the description below as well. And lastly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and make sure you share this channel with your friends. We wanna hit that thousand and beyond. Um, it's just fun seeing this thing grow. Oh, and one, one more little note. On the last video I put out there, I was saying that I hit 100 videos and that's pretty cool, but somehow I added a zero to my hours figure on time. And when it came out of my mouth, I was like, whew, is this little side thing getting out of hand? Two to 3,000 hours? That's like another job. But yeah, I don't know. It's that new math. It's got me all screwed up. So yeah, still a significant time commitment to make these videos, but definitely nowhere near the two to 3,000 hour mark that I said. So sorry about that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. We'll see you next time.